Hello. Um, we're trying this. I'm just, I'm never, you know, I'm never going to get good lighting on this one. Ooh, sorry. Hey, everybody, it's been a while. Let me just grab my coffee. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. So, um, a little bit of news has been happening. We're never going to get my whole face in shot, are we? No. So, it's been a while, um, my, uh, basically for reasons really beyond my, um, beyond my control, well, partly, I haven't been doing a whole lot of, let me just move this back a bit, I haven't been doing a whole lot of, um, videos lately, and, um, I recorded some stuff, I did, um, but my computer's out of commission one day, so, like, one day, um, the battery stopped working, so I said, right, I'll do it without the battery, so I just had it, I took the battery out and just had the power cord plugged into the computer so I just get direct power like you do with, like, a normal PC, um, not a laptop, and that worked for a while, and then suddenly one day it just, it just stopped, stopped working and didn't turn on, and I was like, oh my god, because, you know, idiot that I am, I haven't backed up my, um, my game anywhere, which was the main concern, and I realized that, like, a little bit after, I, um, actually, uh, realized my computer was broken, so that was a big concern, I'm very scarfy, I apologize, um, I have been, uh, winter break's been pretty, uh, lazy for me, um, so, there was, there is some stuff that you've recorded that I really want to get out there. Um, there's Don't Start Together, which I was really excited about, and I recorded for like two hours with Dove Queen. Um, I'm really, really indetermined to get that, you know, to get that working. Um, what else? There's so much to tell you about. I feel like I want to tell you about everything that happened in the last bit. Um, first off, Merry Christmas. Second of all, Happy New Year's. Third, Happy Epiphany. Um, for those of you who don't know, Epiphany is a Christian holiday specifically, not very widely celebrated, but, well, I shouldn't say not very widely, it's sort of overlooked sometimes, it's overlooked by the rest of the world, but it's the day where the three, you know, three wise men, three kings, whatever you want to call them, actually came to, you know, to Mary and Joseph and, you know, said what up and gave him all those gifts that were, in all respects, probably useless because, it, let's be honest, if you saw a poor dude coming up to you and trying to sell you gold, frankincense, or myrrh, would you trust him? But, it's important that they give us, those are like the three gifts because, you know, they're recognizing he's, you know, God and whatnot. Um, so, uh, so yeah. Um, Christmas was good for me. I really enjoyed spending, taking the time to spend with my family. Um, Christmas, I had a Christmas party. I had a couple Christmas parties. One was with, with at work, which was, oh, by the way, I have a, I have a job now. I work at, um, at a local uh, fast food restaurant. And it's a really great, it's a really great job. I couldn't be happier. Um, I feel like, I feel like because this is going out on the internet where everybody can see it, I shouldn't reveal too much information. People that know me know where I work, but, you know, I couldn't be happier. I'm really glad of the job. The people I work with are great. The boss is great. It's, it's, it's really a very a very good experience. I've always felt that I do better in real life than in school. But uh, Christmas party with my work was great. Uh, Christmas party with my friends are great. They're like, I've sort of come to realize over the course of the past, you know, few months that m my friends are like my second family. I mean, really, they are. And we spend so much time together, we've known each other for so long that, you know, it's funny, because, like, you, when you know someone for that long, you're a lot more comfortable around them than you are with other people. Like, you don't sit there questioning, is it going to be okay if I do this? Is, like, am I going to get weird looks? You know by then what is and is not okay with with your friends. Also, one thing I did get over Christmas, um, if any of you watch, and this is going to be backwards, I think, maybe. If any of you watch any of Dodger Press Art to Continue stuff, which you should, um, she's really into the coffee mugs, but I got this great mug. Which says shh, almost, and now you may speak. And it's the three levels of when you can talk as I'm drinking my coffee. 
which is weird because I really drink coffee at night. I don't really drink it as much in the morning because it calms me down less than, um, wakes me up. Uh, so, it's still a nice coffee cup. I really appreciate the idea, and maybe when I start drinking coffee in the morning, it might have some relevance. Um, yeah. Oh, I also got, I also got Pokemon, uh, Omega Ruby over, um, for Christmas, which I've just blazed through. I'm, I'm working on my way up to, to beating the champion. It's an amazing game. I really enjoyed it. The Pokemon franchise has evolved a lot since I started playing. My, I first, my first Pokemon game was Pokemon Pearl, and, um, that was on the DS. I had that, uh, on the DS Lite, and I actually went back and got Leaf Green, and I played Leaf Green. And when I got a DSi, I, you know, I obviously couldn't play Leaf Green anymore, and I lost it by that point because that's how I work. But, to see the way it is now, they've really made a lot of changes for the better to make it a lot more, to make a lot of things about the original game that weren't as enjoyable, more fun, more accessible to people. And some of the new features are amazing, like the ability to just randomly trade Pokemon with somebody in the world is amazing. It leads to a lot more, I feel like it makes... A lot of the features make it feel less like, less like you're sitting in your room holed up by yourself, and more like you're, you know, part of a, you're one of many fans of an amazing game who are playing all across the world, you know? Um, I did realize something, and I had a thought today, and I wanted to share it, and I might put this somewhere later, but I had a thought that my view is about... How do I put this? Gender, racial, um, sexual orientation, quality can be summed up in my views of, of how Pokemon work. Each Pokemon is different. There's no way to, there's no, nothing that can make every Pokemon the same, work the same. Each Pokemon operates and exists in a different way, even just like from a gaming standpoint. Each Pokemon has its uses, each Pokemon has its, you know, things that it excels, things that it's good for and that it's good at, things that it's not so good at. But each Pokemon also has potential, and each Pokemon is, and in fact, a, an asset. In terms of the Pokemon games, each Pokemon's an asset, an important, you know, member of your team. You know, each Pokemon can be made, can excel in something. It's not like there's any Pokemon that is 100% useless because, you know, even the mo even the useless Pokemon Magikarp has amazing potential. And I know this is going to sound a little ridiculous, but if you think about it for a little bit, that sort of thinking really should apply to a lot more things. We maybe thought about people like that less that everybody should be the same or that somebody's better than everybody else and more that each person is different in their own way and that's just the way it is that each person is evaluated by their own standards not you know by sort of evaluated in their own sense not based on everybody else and I know this is it may not make a lot of sense but basically what I'm trying to say is that I personally believe that Taking things like, uh, obviously, I am, t taking things like a person's gender or race or anything of that respect, if you take that, it basically, it really needs to, you really need to look at the person before you look at anything, really anything else about them. And it was said best by, I can't remember the actor's name, you know, in the movie Gettysburg. With um with a uh, Martin Sheen in it, um it was a friend of the colonel of the of the colonel who's like the main character. He said you cannot judge a race. Um anybody who does is a peewit. I think that's probably the best way to say it is that, and this might this might be a little bit off topic. It might be a little weird for me to, for the first thing that I do when I'm basically back, but that's something that I really think rings true is that you can't really look at a person based on based on I don't want to sound like a ridiculous anarchist but based on their based on labels based on you need to look at the person and take into account those things not necessarily identify them as you know to identify me as like 
look at me. You can't identify, you shouldn't identify me as an a upper middle class white guy. You should identify me as me. But also recognize that I'm an upper middle class white guy. So, I don't know if that made any sense. It certainly wasn't meant to offend anybody. And if it did, please accept my, please allow me to express my sincerest apologies because nothing was meant to come out of that but positive feelings toward people. And if, if positive feelings didn't come out of that, if, you know, if I, if I'm out of line, I'll, I'll take this video down. I mean, nothing would make me unhappier than if somebody came out, somebody came away from this video feeling le feeling worse than when they entered into this video. That's not what I'm all about. I'm not about putting anybody down or trying to devalue somebody. I'm, in fact, for the opposite, uh, for the exact opposite. I personally believe that each person, regardless of where they're from, you know, what their beliefs are, you know, how they identify themselves, has amazing potential to do something great. I don't think that you know, there's really a lot that can be said in argument to the fact that humans have amazing potential. <clears throat> but I also think it's important to understand that that can go either way. So that was a little bit of a weird tangent. It was something I just kind of had on my mind today, and I've been thinking about it. If you have any thoughts about that, feel free feel free to share them. This I don't know I'm going to do this. I'll try and make this maybe a regular thing, but this this videoing thing. Oh yeah, by the way, the, the whole reason that I'm here is because I'm doing this on my tablet. Very nice tablet that I got from my parents because they're awesome. Um, yeah. Oh, school's starting tomorrow. Oh yeah, did I tell you? I, um, I remade my necklace. Got these two, two birds here. One's an eagle, I don't know if you can see that that well. And one is a raven. I also want to get a owl and a dove. The eagle I got for my Eagle Scout, um from a from a friend of mine when I got my uh, when I received my Eagle Scout rank my Eagle Scout award. And the Raven I got from my sister on my birthday. I can't remember which birthday it was though. I know it must have been, I guess, maybe two years ago. So not not when I turned 17, but 16, I guess. So. Yeah. That's all I really had to say today. I'm going to finish up my coffee. Go, um, go shower and do a little bit more reading and stuff. I got a, I got a bunch of stuff to do still. I... Again, this was a very lazy, lazy break for me. It's lazy than it should have been. I, I look, a, I look really, yeah, I look, just look in the mirror. I look really freaking gross. I'm sorry about that. Again, if you have any, if you have any thoughts about what I said, um, you know, positive, negative, neutral, whatever, let me know. I, you know, any response is, is I'm, I'm willing to engage in discussion. You know, because after all, in, in issues like quality or equity. The only way really to solve those issues is talking and stuff. Because after all, it's not like, you know, it's not like we can just sit here, sit here and have one-sided conversation and expect anything to get solved. So, I will leave you with that today. Um, I don't have, I don't have my This Day in History calendar. I just got a new one. I'm sorry. Tomorrow, I will have my This Day in History calendar, and we'll take a look at that. For now, look at this amazing piece of art called the Licorice Stick, which I received also for my sister, also for my birthday, and I can't remember which birthday it was. Was it my birthday? It might not have been my birthday. Whatever. Goodbye!